Let's take a look how we can fix materials in Unreal Engine 5.2, in fact, but of course it'll work in earlier and later versions of Unreal Engine as well. This here is a Genesis 8.1 character that I have called Thea. Hello, Thea. Let me just go and spin you around and have a look at the problem that we sometimes encounter with Genesis 8 characters in Unreal Engine. And that's the skin looks a little bit too shiny here. So let me show you how to take care of that. There's that, but there's also the problem with the hair cap. So this kind of moray pattern that we see on her forehead, that is the hair cap showing through. And I'm going to show you that in an upcoming video. But for now, let's take a look at the skin fix for now. What we're going to do is open the skeletal mesh up here. That'll open a new tab. And I think the first thing I want to do is in order to actually judge the material in this view is that I like to turn her around. So the light's kind of coming from this way. And that means the face is in the shadow and that is not a good look. It's like this 90 degree turn. So let's fix that first and make her face forward. We can do this by utilizing a preview animation up here. So currently we don't have one. So let's create one. There's an option to create a pose and an animation. I prefer to use an animation for this. I'm going to use the current pose here and that opens up a new little window. I'm going to go over here to DAS to Unreal. I'm going to create a new folder called animations. So it's just going to be a one frame animation. I'm going to call that face forward like so. That opens up my animation, which is one frame and it's kind of currently running. So I'll pause that and go to the beginning and I'm going to use the root bone here and turn that 90 degrees. So this with control and both the left and the right mouse button together, I'm going to turn her over 90 degrees. So that will be or by 90 on the Z axis. So that turns her. Now I need to set a keyframe on here by pressing the letter S and that'll set a keyframe here on the root bone. And this means this is now my animation. Control shift s to save everything, close my animation down, and then up here under preview animation, I can now go and select it. And now, boom, she's facing forward. So this is already, you know, a good improvement here. So the way materials actually work in Unreal Engine is unlike they do in iRay. In Unreal Engine, you have a shader that's set up with nodes and that creates the material, but that is often not what we use directly on a surface to make that appear. Instead, we use an instance of that and we do that for performance reasons. So you typically have an actual material from which you then create an instance and then you override values on the base material. And this is also also how DAS to Unreal works. And I'm explaining this because DAS to Unreal takes this a step further and has an instance of an instance. So if we go to the body here, then I can go and this would be the body. You can go and isolate that. This is actually the body or you can highlight it. If you go and double click on this ball, then you will open the material instance. And if I go and shift this over here, we can see a kind of a preview of what would happen if I were to change this. You can go and override some values here. So what I'm going to go and have a play with is the roughness offset. Offset or multiplier will both work. But if I go and tick this box, then that means now I'm overriding this value on the instance. And if I set that to something higher, like 10, then you can see, yep, it's definitely less shiny. Maybe 10 is too much. Maybe try 5 or try you know, 4, 3, 2, try 1, try 0.5, something like that until you're happy. Like 0.1 makes it less shiny, 2, 0.3, something like that. Maybe 0.2 would be perfect. Uh, maybe 0.3, something like that. But notice this change only actually happens on the body. It doesn't happen on the face. It doesn't happen on the arm. So that's really no good unless I wanted to go through all these materials here. So I'm going to go and leave this box unticked again. So I can I bring this back and instead show you that this instance is also based on another instance. So by going to the bottom, you can close all these things down if you like. At the bottom, you see the parent of this instance and what that actually is. And that is a base material for my character, DJ Thayer HD 8.1 base mat. And if I double click that, and this is now a material instance that governs everything that my character has. So if I go and use the same roughness offset value here and crank that up to 0.2, then I can see that the shininess goes away all over her body. In fact, everywhere, including the clothing. So this is good, but now I might want to bring this back, say on the lips or on the eyes. If I wanted to have the lips a little bit more shiny, like I'll use 0.3 here, then I can go now into the lips and then, you know, uh, change this value again to override another value. 
Just to bring this to a close, how we deal with this, if you go down once again and have a look at the parent of my character's material, that is the base PBR skin material. And that too, if you open that up, that is now the actual material that is made with nodes. And this is what the Dasto Unreal plugin brings. And if you ever needed to make any node overrides here, you can add things, you can add an emissive color if you wanted to do that. And that will then be present on anything that's derived from this. So Dasto Unreal has multiple base materials. In this case, we're using the PBR skin material and we're instancing that for my character. And that instance is then used for each surface of my character. That's how that works. So I'm going to close this down again. I'm going to close this one as well takes a moment to compile these shaders so what i'm going to do now is just add a little bit more shine to the lips i mean they look like they're already shiny enough but just in case you wanted to make the lips shiny double click the lips material or the lips surface and on here you'll see that my roughness offset is now set you can just about see that to 0.3 because i've overridden it but i can also go and override that now and put that to zero and then we bring more shine to the lips again so that's how we deal with skin materials. Next, let's have a look at how we can fix that hair cap transparency here.